Hey babes, Jin here and welcome back to Blindly Honestly. If you are a new subscriber and a new member of the hashtag Butterfly Squad, I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So, today's video may be a little long. I will insert timestamps down below because I'm doing a 4th of July look tutorial for this look I'm wearing right now. I am also going to be reviewing these brand new makeup brushes that I got as a discounted price in exchange for my review. And I will be announcing the winner of the Life's A Drag eyeshadow palette giveaway that I did for, for my 500 subscriber count. I will be announcing the winner of this. So make sure you guys stick until the end to see if you won or not. Now, before I get into this look, I'm going to kind of change the pace a little bit. So on Monday, July 2nd, a very dear friend of mine, Catch Your Breath Beauty, Heather, had to say goodbye to her baby girl, her cat, Reba, who she has had for 17 years. It was very hard on her, and I'm happy that I was able to be there for her in her time of need, but I wish that it hadn't had to happen. So I just want to continue to send her all my love and support and let her know that sister, you are my soul sister. And if you need anything whatsoever, I am here for you. And also today, July 4th, is her and her husband's 10 year wedding anniversary. That is amazing, congrats you guys. That is a huge deal, you should be so proud of yourselves. You have an amazing little girl and a wonderful family with your baby girl and your fur babies, and you two are amazing. I love you all three and your whole family so much, and I am here for you if you ever need anything. So, um, so back to the fun and the video. I'm going to go ahead and hop right into the tutorial. I'm going, I tried not to talk much in the video, just to make it quick and to the point. So it wouldn't be as long as some of my eyeshadow tutorial videos have ended up being. So fingers crossed that I edit this down to be under 24 minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, if you want to know who won the Life's a Drag palette, if you want to hear how these makeup brushes worked, go ahead, sit back, grab a drink, get a snack, and I hope you enjoy today's video. Starting with this angled mermaid eyeshadow brush, I'm going to pick up Cake Face and Sickening. So with the same brush, I'm going to pick up Fishy, which is the shade right here. And I'm going to just start by applying this into the inner corner. And we'll just keep building it up. We want it nice and dark blue and we're only going halfway. So now I'm going to go in with this angled brush and we're going to pick up Snatched, which is this really pretty red, and we're going to finish the rest of the crease. Trying not to blend it too much into the blue because I don't want it to turn purple, I want it to stay bright red. Now I'm just going to blend the blue into the red a little bit more just to make the blue pop. So this isn't quite as bright red as I had hoped, but that's okay. I mean, it still looks really pretty. So I'm going to pick up Trade, which is the shade right here, and I'm going to put it over the red a little bit just to try to make it more red. 
So now I'm taking this one again and I'm just kind of trying to blend that in. So now I'm going in with this angled brush and I'm going to attempt to cut my crease. So now I'm going to pick up Cake Face, which is that white, and put that into the cut crease. So I did extend the red a little bit and I'm going to clean that up with concealer, but I just wanted it to match the white. So I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. So I'm going to go do the rest of my face, clean up my face, and then we will do the under eyes. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my face. And yes, I have my fan on again because it's summertime. It's hot. So I'm going to start with the Pixie H2 Skin Tint Gel. This is my go-to summer foundation because it's super, super light. And I'm going to use this super cute brush. Like, look at that. Isn't that adorable? So I'm going to use this flat foundation brush to buff out my concealer. No, I'm not because it didn't work. So I'm going in with my beauty blender. Okay, so I went ahead and added my liner and my lash. I didn't do a full wing just because I wanted to not overpower the colors in this look. So I just put the liner on my lash line. So now we are going to do the under eye and for that I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm going to use this dome angled makeup brush I'm going back into the Lunar Beauty. And I'm going to pick up Fishy. Under the eye, and we're gonna pick up Snatched. So, now to finish off this look, I'm going to go in with some red lipstick. This is not a bright red, it's just a very subtle, pretty red. This is by DLS, it is their matte lipstick in the shade Rust.
Yeah, this lipstick is super, super matte, super pretty. I love this lipstick. So for the finishing touches for my inner eye, I'm going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm just going to put this on the inner corner. So I do have one complaint with these, and it's the same complaint I've always had, is why hasn't NYX released a version of this with a spinning bottom so that you don't have to constantly keep resharpening it? So this is the finished look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun to put together. I kind of wish that the red was more red and not quite so purpley, but that's what I get for not doing a run through before I did this look. I just kind of winged it and went for it. I'm really happy with how it looks. It's very pretty. It, the blending, it blended very beautifully. This is why I love the Lysa Drag palette. So, before I get into the giveaway announcement, I want to give a huge shout out to Dexstar. They are actually a retailer on Amazon. They reached out to me and asked me to re review their makeup brushes at a discounted price. So I did get a discount on these brushes, these ones I used throughout the whole video. They're so pretty and they're like the mermaid fin. I love them. I do have a bit of an issue with how, um, I think so, how soft the bristles are right here. They don't really hold on too much powder. So when I was trying to contour and you saw me blending out the contour, it didn't really do a very good job. I wish there had been a little bit more bristles in these brushes would have made them perfect. And I wish that there was a version of a brush like this one that was thicker and rounder, more of a powder brush. This brush did a really good job of applying my foundation gel or my face gel. So I will definitely keep these brushes. I honestly think these are going to be my new travel brushes because they are perfect for on the go. I can just leave them in my makeup bag and have them ready to go because, I don't know, I think they're just really pretty. And so I could see myself using these quite often, honestly. Especially the eye brushes. I felt like the eye brushes were a lot better than the face brushes. So yeah, if you guys are interested, in getting these for yourself I will put a link down below in the description box and if you guys haven't already if you look in my description box I have my patreon down there all of my social media media channels are on down there and also my affiliate links so if you guys can go check that out that'd be amazing because I do get a commission when you purchase off of my commission links so if you don't want to donate direct money to me you could always buy off of one of my commission links because then you'll be buying yourself something while still helping me out a little bit. So the moment you guys have all been waiting for it is now time for me to announce the winner of the Life's a Drag eyeshadow palette giveaway. Alright, so I'm going to cometpicker.com slash YouTube. And I'm going to post, paste the link for the video. And there are 24 entries because if you guys did not know, more than one comment with Life's a Drag did not count as another entry. So let's see who won. So the winner of the Life's a Drag is Kimberly Harrod. Congratulations, girl. And honestly, Kimberly Harrod has been one of my biggest supporters on YouTube. She is always there on every video. So, I'm going to go ahead and screenshot this for proof. So, Kimberly, congrats on winning. I'm so excited that you won this because I know you said you didn't have the funds to buy it for yourself because you had an emerged situation with your puppy. So, girl, this one's for you. So, I'll be contacting you very soon to get your address. And like I said, I will try to have this shipped by sometime next week, preferably, hopefully on Monday, I will be carrying my happy ass down to the post office to get this nut off.
So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and go start editing and try to get this video up in time for 4th of July. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to become part of my hashtag butterfly squad, make sure you hit that bell for notifications because then that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And if you didn't already know, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at, at 9 a.m. Pacific. And on most Friday nights at 8 p.m., I go live with Beauty Chats with Jen, where we talk all things beauty related, just hang out and have fun. So if you guys ever want to hang out on a Friday night, catch me out live. <laughs> so I'm going to keep going. I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. Love it. Comment down below or tag me at Blindly Honestly on Instagram if you recreate this look because that would be really cool to see. So I'm going to get going. Thank you guys all for your continuous love and support. I wish you lots of love and whiskers and I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye. Open eye. Feel the waves cut through me. Hypnotized by the sounds of